Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's Michael from Star Streams back with another video. I have been enjoying a certain game loop lately on Star Citizen and I wanted to share it with you. Now, I know that some people will not necessarily enjoy hand mining, but I have found a particular location that's really fun and it's on Microtech and I'm going to introduce you to it now if you didn't know what it is already. It's called N02 and it is located about 16 clicks away from where I'm heading now, which is the Shuban Mining Outpost 018. What's so special about this particular location where you're taking me to? Well, it is a cave. Go and just hang out there, stick some Spotify playlist on and listen to it and just chill because it's a really cool, fun place. Now, here we are at uh, Shuban. 018 on Microtech. This is your starting point. Now to get to it from here, you need to go directly above the station, which I'm pretty much there now. And then using the compass doodah thing, the horizontal thing, been to 260. Oop, just overshot it a little bit. There we go. 260. Oh, there we go. There we go. 260 and just head straight for 16 clicks. Now the way you can tell how far you are from Shuban's mining facility is by pressing F2 and in the top right corner, you can see the M, the meters tick away. So when you get to 16,000, that's roughly where you'll find a sinkhole. So let's try that now. In case you're asking, today's ship is the Drake Cutter. Approaching 9,000. So we're going to start slowing down quite soon. There is actually an indicator, a ground kind of landmark that you can use. So I'm going to get in a little bit lower and I'm going to show you that landmark in a minute. We must be almost there now. Let's have a look. 12,000. A little bit further. Right. Just beyond this mountain, I think. Slow down. It's going to be here. Down there. Because... There's like a ear shaped mountain. There it is. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like this kind of, it's like a C shaped set of mountains and the hole is in like a valley. So there it is right there. So like I say, you can get medium sized ships in here as well as small ships. I'm going to put my lights on. We're going to go in. You're not going to make the most money doing this, but let me tell you, there is so much Haddonite. There's even Quantanium down here. I know, crazy, right? So this area here is the first level. Look how flat that is. You can park pretty much anything in there. And then if you want to go a bit further down, this is where the real stuff is. So we'll, we'll turn around and we'll go down here. This is the second level. Here we go. Now there's actually two exits and entrances on this level. A sections you can choose to go down. So you can go down this area here. And straight away you can see <laughs> what looks like Haddonite. So actually I'm going to just pop it here. But behind us is another entrance. So there's the first entrance. So that's the first entrance to a main cave. And they're pretty easy to navigate. Just the vastness of the cave is quite impressive uh, compared to my cutty that's sat in the middle there. So here, this marks the entrance to the cave. Here we go, we'll crawl through the cave. Now I think the reason why they do this is to stop people bringing vehicles down here, which is a shame. I'd like to see them open this up a bit so that you can bring, say, grey cat rocks through here. But all of the entrances on these caves there's several several of these kind of entrances. All of them kind of have an awkwardness to them, which means you can't bring ground vehicles through. So that's a real shame. But once you get through the other side, that's when you get the really cool stuff. So here we are. And we have a little look through here. There we go. We've got Dolivine over here. We've got another one over here, which is Aphorite. So you could just, uh, oh, another dollar vine there. I didn't even see that. They're all they're all quite close together. So as long as you're not fussy, there is a lot of Haddonite here as well. 
And in fact, when I was down here earlier today, I saw th like three or four Hadnight in a row next to each other. You just got to keep a little eye out. There's another one there. That's Dol uh, Dolivine. Another one there. Dolivine. Oh, there's another one there, Dolivine. You got to be a little bit careful. That's Hadonite. You got to be a bit careful because that's Hadonite. There we go. You see what I mean? They're quite close to each other. So you don't have to walk too far. You have to look in the rock as well because they do sort of submerge themselves in the rock a little bit and it can be easy to miss. So the cave goes down one level. It also goes up one level. However, you have to be really careful where you're standing because as you can see, there are drops. Now on a good day with a few people down here, you can make a lot of money. If you've, if you've got like a conveyor belt going, you can make loads of money. There's another one there. Had a night. Another one there, Hadonite. That's what I'm more used to seeing, Hadonite quite close together. And so you could just go down here and just spend some time down here, filling up the backpack. Another one there. What's that? Dolivine? Oh, I love the atmosphere so much. Aphorite. Just fill up your backpack and then take it to your ship and just transfer it, move all to your ship. Repeat process. You see how many gems there are over here? There's so many. Keep going round and round and just pick up what you can. So a backpack, a decent backpack, if you're focusing on just Hadonite, then you'll probably get about 20,000 if you fill up a backpack. There's Hadonite there. A standard mining backpack, it's about 20 grand. What I tend to do, another tip I'll do when I'm in the caves, is I will have some flares on me and I'll put flares on my body. I don't know if I've actually got any on me. No, I haven't got any on me at the moment, but I would put flares on my body and I'd enable them and then it lights up the cave a little bit more around you. Yeah, I thought I'd introduce you to these caves because they are pretty awesome. There's a lot of areas to explore. Just bring a transport ship down, a small one, maybe something like a Cutty Black or something, or a Titan or Cutter like I've brought. Just come and explore the caves of the Pyro Tour and just take a load of Hadonite and a load of gems and you can make a bit of money and also just have a real chill time. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you appreciate it. If you want me to map out these caves, let me know. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.